Hello, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all doing pretty good? Yeah. Everything good? All right. A lot of kids in here. A little young kid. Reminds me when I was a young kid. When I was in school, people used to make fun of me because I was kind of broke and poor, you know. So, you know, since I was poor, my only defense mechanism was to imply that I was having sex with their mothers. <laughs> my whole retort. They'd be like, Carlo, these ugly ass shoes you got on. <laughs> like, I know, I just had to wear them though, because I wanted your mother to know that I appreciated the things that she did for me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, like, I wonder whose idea that was. Like, who, who's the idea of implying sex with your mother? I think the British did it. I think, like, the British were sitting around one day. Oh, look, 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 there's more. I hate you. Hmm, hmm. Why are you even over here? Where were you coming from? You're late, you're late. One would just looked at him and said, well, Percival, I, I would have been on time. However, I was busy, busy having sex with your mother. Yeah. Yes. yes, as a matter of fact, your mother was quite a good sport. I, I fondly remember her screaming how much I satisfied her, much better than your father ever could. Yes. 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 She, 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 she praised me. She, she likes the size of my genitalia, as a matter of fact. She, she took a few pictures in her camera phone of my, my videos. So, uh, it's great to be here, though. I, uh, I also, when I'm high, I like to watch uh, animated Disney classics. Yeah, that's right. You notice things. My favorite, my favorite, Little Mermaid. Love watching Little Mermaid. Fans of Little Mermaid in here? Any fans? That's right. It's awesome, man. You notice things when you're under the influence. Like, I thought, I was sitting there, I'm watching it by myself in my room, you know, feeding my gigapet. I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> trying to pay attention, stay focused, get things done at the same time. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I think it's weird that the little mermaid didn't know what feet were. <laughs> Remember that opening song? Yeah. She had to ask the fit. She was like, well, I want to be where the people are. Well, I want to see, I want to see them dancing and walking along on those. Walking along on those. What's that word again? What's that word? What's it? Feet? What is it? Is it? It's feet? Am I saying that right? Okay. Flipping your fins, can only. Like, first of all, ruin the song, right? She stopped, she missed the beat, fucked up her rhythm. And second of all, did you just ask the fish what feet? How does he know what feet are? And you don't. Like, did you tell him what gills were? How does this relationship work? You know? Like, we get it, you're a mermaid, you don't have feet. But you speak English, it's not like you're swimming around the ocean, just like, how, how you say foot? You can't just ignore the existence of words because you don't have the thing that the word describes. Sound like blind people walk around wondering what eyes are. <laughs> and the whole movie's about you wanting feet, okay? Don't even, don't try to play it off like, what are feet? I don't even know what, what are feet, what? I don't even, I don't even, I don't even care about feet. I don't even, I don't flip her. Steve, I want these apples. Um, you don't get apples today. I mean, this, this whole wrong price and everything, you just don't get them. Get some parrots. That's You're funny. an awful best friend, Steve. She's fine. Steve, I don't like carrots or bananas. I just want apples. Oh, you like bananas. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You've never seen me eat a banana. Have you? <laughs> Things close to bananas. What is that supposed to mean? You're being awfully indirect. <laughs> the point is, Steve, I need some food, and I don't have any money. Well, let's see if we can fill you up with something hey. a little <laughs> uh, I appreciate the offer, but I'm just, no, no thanks, no thanks. Aren't we friends? <laughs> yeah, but not been a friend, so we're not the little benefit thing. Been a friend. Uh, where do you draw the line, really? Because last time you were at my house, you had that wine. You were uh, spooning. And then you <laughs> tried to give me the roofie. It just, I don't, it wasn't legit. You I told just, me you didn't touch it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You clearly grasped it. I don't care what you have to say. You're all up on it. I thought it was the cat's tail. <laughs> I wanted to pull on it. Throw the you did the pull on it. I'm aware I thought it was a tail. 
Who pulls on cat's tail? They're just a lion's zipper. <laughs> I can't understand you, Steve. <laughs> Steve, I think we should stop being best friends. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I sound like a lion. I know, with every sentence, it just becomes harder and harder to understand you. But all the courage. <laughs> That's why I thought it was a cat's tail. <laughs> I just heard your voice and thought of the lion, and I pulled, and it was really hairy and everything. Oh. <laughs> I want to stop seeing you. Shift left. Someone breaks think? my heart. <laughs> I've lost the courage to go on. <laughs> Maybe every other weekend, uh, you come over and I shave your cattail. Every other weekend, 